my name is Beatrice and I'm from Switzerland. My frozen shoulder starts with a little pain and then it got worse. I had different uh, therapies. I got uh, also injections of corti cortisone uh, and it got worse till I nearly couldn't move anymore. I was so confused because everybody told me something different. One doctor said you have to move, another one said don't move this arm. And then I went in the internet and I found a blog about a frozen shoulder. And I read about Dr. Olo and I thought, yeah, I think that's the way. So these are the holes that come up in between the bones. I'm just looking on the left side. There might be a little bit of encroachment around C5-6. You see the spacing in the discs here and the spacing in the disc mm -hmm. here. You see that the spacing here is lost. This is what they were talking about on your report. Mm -hmm. So it's like a straight line to here and then a straight line to here. Yeah. It should be an even curve, 34 to 43 degrees. Right. So we're going to just uh, check the range of motion here now myself and see if you have any strength in those muscles. We're all just going to do this here. I'm going to just have you hold this up for me as hard as you can. Hold it up and just try to push it up for me. And you've got some strength there. Turn this way for me. And just hold it there for me as hard as you can. And you've got some strength there. Turn this way for me. Turn all the way as hard as you can. Hold it there as hard as you can. And you've got some strength there, which is a good sign. Today, you'll be able to control the movement yourself. Some people have muscle wasting and atrophy. You're only six months into it. People after a year, 18 months, two years, their muscles are just gone and they, even if I open it, they can't hold it because there's nothing anymore to hold it and they have to build it all up. I think in your case, you'll be able to hold it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and that will be better for you because your recovery will be faster. This is the area C5-6 right here. You can feel that there's some pressure right in there and you feel these bones are not moving very well in there. Even on the left side, they're not moving well. So that whole entire area where the, that the, the two kind of lines meet is quite compressed and uh, uh, because I've seen the x-ray I will probably do a small manipulation on that for you today just to get it opened up a bit. Her, her frozen shoulder affected my life too because I, I, I helped her a lot and I had to help her a lot because it wasn't possible without. I came here to Dr. Olo because he was my last hope that I can solve this problem. Closer, closer, put your arms around her. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That was a long, a long time ago. That was a, that was a trick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do ah oh, in the bed, and I'm happy when I can do this. Okay. We'll <laughs> do it tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank right. you so much. Okay. <laughs> When I saw how I could move my arm, uh, what I could have done for several months, I was somehow, yeah, it was, I felt I'm really happy. <laughs> I am happy because I'm a musician, I, I couldn't play the violin anymore, and now I see that I will restart to practice and, and yeah, and that I can move now and I have less pain and yeah, I, I see really hope and I will, I will play the violin. I would recommend this um, frozen shoulder procedure.